Hello everyone, Akars here. Today we'll continue working on my small side project called Zaris. If you haven't seen the previous devlog episodes about it, then go and check them out. So, let's not waste any more time and get right to it. The first thing I've done was this nice camera effect for night skipping, cause it should look cool. Camera positioning isn't perfect, but that's pretty easy to adjust if needed. I think I should also speed up the wind and add some cool particle effects for the monument, but we'll play with it another time. What's more important is progression. As you might already know, I want to have a bunch of different NPCs in the camp, with a few side quests each. But I don't want the player to run through all of them in 30 minutes or less, so I will split the joy in a few parts. For this purpose, I came up with this rather common looking leveling system. Basically, there'll be 4 levels, from 0 to 3. Zero level is for the tutorial part of the game, which isn't really a thing yet, but I definitely plan on adding it. In a few words, this is how it all works. You get a reputation for completing missions and selling items in the camp, and that reputation plays the role of experience for the leveling system. But even if you use your reputation to buy some upgrades and stuff, neither your level nor your experience will be decreased, so you don't have to make a choice between upgrading and progressing for the game. Once you reach a certain amount of reputation, you'll get to the next level. With a new level, new quests will be unlocked. Also, with the addition of missions and leveling system, there are now more things the player should be notified about, so I improved my messaging system to support quiz. Now I can send a bunch of notifications simultaneously and they will be shown in the correct order, with no overlapping. This system is still not perfect, but I can always modify it. All of that is cool of course, but we do need to work on the main quest of the game. The focus point here will be the school ruin monuments. There are three of them in total, located in three large ruin areas. The objective is to activate all of them. To activate a ruin monument, you will need a ruin activator, which requires a full stack of every resource you can get from killing robots. It's not that hard to get as it sounds. After using a ruin activator, you will need to solve a puzzle in the area. But I haven't really worked on this part of it yet. Once you activate a monument, however, you will get an additional inventory slot, a new area safe from evil spirits around the activated monument, and what's more important, the enemies will get stronger. I don't want to just increase enemies' health and damage, because that would completely break the game. Instead, I want to add some new features to them, like new behavior patterns and new attacks. This should make the progression much more interesting, but again, we will work on that sometime later. Alright, guess that's gonna be it for today. As you can see, I've broken my video schedule a bit, so I'll probably take a week off to regain some strength. But don't worry, I'll still be working on the game. So subscribe not to miss something cool and I will see you next time. Bye bye!